<clears throat> -na 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 -na. Are we live? Are we live for yet another edition of the Sprint Cup series? Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And well, before we even get into what's going on here, a little bit late, 10 minutes late today, but I, I guess it's not a problem. Um, we are live and I will I would go through the track selection here. Let's uh, let's see the tracks that we're gonna do today. Track select is gonna be Brazil. Start off with Brazil, good track, and then we go to Europe, Netherlands, and then Bahrain, just traveling all over the world, back to the Americas. This time the North Americas, USA, and we go to Azerbaijan, and we end in Italy. So all over the world, it's gonna be a very very interesting Spring Cup, that's for sure. Are we spectating this? And oh, host options. Now we put this to resettings. Uh, friends only. Open. Here we go. Open. Um, let me just check the um the Twitch uh, stream manager. Yeah, there we go. So now I can see the chat. If you guys said anything before, I, I couldn't see. I can only see the message, messages from now on. So I won't be looking at the stream. Uh, you guys tell me if um, if there's any problem with the stream. If the if the audio is okay, let me let me check it out myself. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see. It look it looks fine. It's an open lobby now. Uh why no open lobby column? This is an open lobby. Harry Bartram just joined. Um yeah. Session privacy open. It's an open lads, so that means Then we are good to go. Six viewers. We have so far six people. Do you guys want to wait for some people to join in? That would be fine. That would be cool. That would be interesting. I will be spectating this. We do have six people um, turning up already. That's Alpe, Callum, Absolute Lull. Let's just call it Absolute. I think that's better. Um, never mind, says Callum. Hello there. In the Afatari, Free Candle. Making his return to the Spring Cup series, um, and the Williams Harry Bartram will be in the Ferrari and Sukaman Bank or Ninsassen, which uh, well, he says he's Russian in, in the in his flag there. You can see the, the Russian flag, but I can guarantee you, if there's something that this man is not, is Russian. Anyways, um, six years already. Great to have you guys here. Hello, boys. I have returned to my bad luck, says Kevin. Don't say that. Uh, Avo Avocado is here as well. Um, let's take a look at the, the team lineup. <clears throat> the team lineups for. Well, this stream has no delay, says Kevin. Yeah. Spring Cup is back and better than ever. Serial uh, and the Red Bull. Um, some new guys there and the Red Bull. We see some people joining. The more people we uh, that we have joining, um, the more people we have, uh, it's bet the better. I, I would say uh, better racing. Um, I wouldn't say exactly better racing, but I would say there's at least something going on. That's for sure. Have myself a little bit of water here. Emilio is here as well. And joining the McLaren team. We do have lots of people here. And as we wait for some people to join, because I do believe we could have a full lobby. If you guys would be just a little bit patient. 
Uh, Fox the Fox uh, followed us uh, today as well, so very, very appreciated, um, Fox the Fox. Can't hear you in the lobby, by the way. Well, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. Um, we'll definitely not be boring, I hope. Well, says Kevin. Indeed, Kevin, by the way, if you don't know, you probably do. It's free Kando, the Dutch driver. We do have um, we do have people from all over the world. People from England, from Austria, uh, from Wales. We have uh, a British boy, but well, he uses the French uh, the French flag, even though I know he's he's actually British. Uh, we do have a Dutch driver, also a fake, another fake uh, Russian driver, an American a guy from North Korea. Mexico and then a Brazilian commentating. How how interesting is that, huh? No, that's why I'm holding the stream up. Yeah. Six viewers. Well, we see some people reading up. I do believe well let me just share this. Hold on a second. Share link to channel. Let me just promote the stream a little bit. a second Okay, just just promoting it, right? Okay, okay, okay. We do have loads of drivers here, Jack. We have Volt. We have Brazen and Gago. Great, 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 ladies and gentlemen. This is it. The 14th edition of the Spring Cup. We are live with six viewers. Thanks, guys, for uh, showing up. Tell me on the, the stream chat if anything is... Well, just, just tell me about the stream. Is the audio okay? Is the attitude loud? Is the, the stream okay? Let's take a look at the starting order. M Tomo or EQR Tomo will be starting from pole position. The winner, the five-time Spring Cup winner, is going to be starting at the front of the grid. Callum is going to be alongside him at the front row. It's going to be interesting going approaching to, um, turn one. It's a very, very interesting sequence of corners. Turns one, two, and three. The Senna says Brazen on his debut in P3 ahead of Vricando in P4. And the third row, we have Sirio and Sukaman Bank. Uh, third row, it's still... Uh, a good position to start on. 30 seconds to this is the start of this race, of the first race of the 14th edition of the Spring Cup. Followed by Aupe is Hello There, Avocado Jack, Harry Bortram in P11, Go Go, Vote, Absolute, who's going to be starting from the back of the grid. And another driver that you got to keep an eye on is Harry Bortram. He was so, so close to taking the Spring Cup last time out, but, well, things happen, I would say. Let's just put it like that. Everything's okay. Everyone is on a strike, everyone is ready. The first race of the Spring Cup is about to go underway. The five lights are on. The Brazilian Grand Prix is underway. Tomo gets a, well, that's a good start by Tomo. Covers the inside already now, really, but still taking P1 ahead of Callum. Let's see what's going on here at the back. Some chaotic, oh, and so Command Bank is the first one to get collected here in the car and some overtakes going on look at this and Tomo is under pressure Callum is gonna put on the inside Callum down down the inside Callum takes over the lead but no and Tomo fights back on the outside is Tomo covers the outside and now takes P1 he maintains P1 and now Vricando up to third place 
What a star by the Williams driver, but still M Tomo or Tomo. I gotta I'm gonna stop calling him M Tomo. This leads the Grand Prix, and is that gonna be yet another win? For the oh, and Harry Borch from very, very, I would say, aggressive there, trying to make up some positions. The Ferrari team not having the best of races, I would say. He's oh my god, Harry Borch from an avocado. Oh my god, avocado taking Harry Borch from out. Is that another time that we're gonna see Harry losing the sprint car because of? Because of all that, all the dirty driving and people taking him out. Serial making a move on Jack. But speaking of making a move, hello there is making a move there. Oh, oh around the outside of two drivers. That's never gonna work, is it? The Ford McLaren. Oh, and there's another contact. Sick amount of buying Yank. Yank. Don't know how to pronounce his name. Really, really suffering here in the track. Serial trying to defend from the Alfa Romeo of Tori actually, who's gonna dive down the inside. At the end of the hat, Oposta, oh, and here we go, Serial making up another position, well, defending his position, I would say, it's a great battle between uh, those drivers for P6, look at this, Sukaman, Suka, Sukaman Bank making up a position on the Alpha Tari, and wow, 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 what a battle between those drivers, 14 drivers at the moment, oh, and Jack going very, very deep, oh, and he makes contact, he makes contact with the Red Bull drama here in Brazil drama here in Brazil and well, look at this Harry Bartram is gonna try to go all the way around the outside of the Red Bull driver Ferrari versus Red Bull but speaking of battles here we have absolute law on a good opportunity to take um, P3 out of Ricando Ricando very very I would say defensive now because well he knows that absolute is a quick driver indeed last time out here in the Spring Cup absolute uh, won the first race of the season I do believe and well, uh, Ricando now trying to make up a position, trying to get away from the Mercedes driver. Mercedes looking very strong in the championship. Oh, and look at this! Making contact. What a move by Absolute Low. Wow. Contact between those two that opened space for the Mercedes driver to make up a position. And then to third. So Callum from second to fourth. Oh, and Ricando! Ricando, what's he done? What's he done? He gets a 10 second time penalty. A 10 second time penalty. He goes deep into the corner, loses control uh, of his car. And that's Brazen losing control of the car as well. Everything is going on here in the Brazilian Grand Prix. But, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. It's a Mercedes 1 2. Tomo and Absolute. Those two are like Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas. The thing is, who's Hamilton and who's Bottas? Well, Tomo has five championships. Absolute could be. Could be on for his first one if he keeps some consistency as Tomo, well, just disappearing in the lead at the moment. 3.6 seconds ahead of the competition, ahead of his teammate. Vricando losing a position to, oh, look at that. Side by side, will to will through the center. It's always beautiful to see those people going side by side through the part, this part of the corner. Fox the Fox, thanks for the, oh, look at this. Sukaman by Yank is going to come back at him. Great comeback by the Ferrari driver, but Callum. Well, not Callum, Vricando is going to lose yet another position. He has a 10 second time penalty for corner cutting. Even though I do believe that was not fair, but there's nothing that I or Vricando himself can do about that. Lap 4 out of 5, we still have one lap and a half to go. The gap, uh, the gaps are pretty close. Alpa getting a time penalty. Sitting in P8 at the moment, looking very, very, I would say, I would say decent by Alpe. That's an improvement. And uh, Fox the Fox, by the way, thanks for following. I've seen your follower, uh, your follow uh, earlier today, and well, really, really appreciate it. Uh, as now, and Tomo crosses the line and we approach the final lap of this Grand Prix. And what what's look what looks like it's gonna be a very, very comfortable win for M Tho for Tomo. Let's just call him Tomo. Um, hello there, making up a position there as well, look at this, oh, hello there mate, up to 6th place, but Red Bull is gonna have a, uh, have a go on him as well, on the back straight, look at that, great, great move by Sirio, he's gonna take the move, he's gonna get the position, P6 is now the Red Bull driver, Red Bull again, not having a great race here in the Spring Cup, but Sirio looking to change that. Uh, and that's a time penalty for absolute low. I wonder if Sukaman Bang 
Sukaman, let's just call him Sukaman. Sukaman, I wonder if he can do something about this. Well, the guys ahead of him have a tie penalty, so all he has to do is, is to keep it on track. Tomo, though, going around the last couple of corners. He is on the last sector. He's won the last championship, and now he's looking to make that six. But how do you do that? By winning races, and that's what he has done. He has done it again. Tomo crosses the line to win. The Brazilian Grand Prix and Sukaman getting closer to Callum. Oh, so close to the line. Sukaman is going to take P3. Absolute low. Look at that serial with loads of time penalties. Uh, absolute low closes the podium. No, he, he finishes in P2. It's a Mercedes 1-2. What a result for the Mercedes team. You got to say, Tomo P1, absolute in P, uh, P2. In third is going to be Sukaman on his... Return to the Spring Cup Series. What a result for Suka, man. And over here. Oh dear, oh dear. That's a, that was a very eventful race for a 14-man race. I gotta say, that's very impressive. M Tho well, not M Tomo. Tomo uh, dominates the race. What a race for Mercedes. Are we gonna see the 13th edition of the Spring Cup Series all over again? With Tomo leading and Mercedes winning. Well, it's a good start for them, but it's still a long season. Uh, any, anything can happen. I wouldn't say it's a long season. It's only, only six races, isn't it? So, well, I would say that this is... Um, it's very important. Every single race is important. Let's just take a look at the standings of the uh, Brazilian Grand Prix. A little screenshot there, just in case uh, we... We lose the <clears throat> the standings. Anyways, let's just take a look at the chat. As you can see, oh, before we even do, Mercedes with 44 points here in Brazil. Ferrari in second place ahead of Haas with only 13 points. The lead of the of the um, of Mercedes is 29 points. What uh, dominance by the Mercedes? Alpha Torre is in P3. Oh, sorry, in P4 ahead of Williams with 10 points. And then Red Bull, Alfa Romeo, and McLaren. McLaren, at the moment, no points for McLaren. And it's, uh, well, let's say it's a grand slam for, for Tomo. Uh, I, I gotta get used to calling him Tomo only, because I only call, I used to call him M. Tomo for some reason. Anyways, let's just take a look at the chat and answer some of you guys. Let's see, both Red Bulls need to be kicked. I got took out six times. Okay, I'm gonna take out, uh, I'm gonna ban or kick the, the Red Bulls. Amazing Thomo and Absolute is Fox the Fox. Absolute. Absolute LOL. Can't call him that. It's, it's, it's also awful. Absolute, we, need, we could have a battle, but lost control, fortunately. Well, one of the Red Bulls is out, and I guess the other one is out as well. So I don't even have to kick him from, from the lobby because they're already out. Uh, do we have some people joining? Not really. Not, not, not really. We are missing a couple of uh, of drivers today as well. Legio, for example, Albini. Uh, I believe he's uh, in tier five in GSR. Um, let's just take a look here to chat. Uh, run more downforce. Top tip: keep the wheels on the ground. Zandvoort will be. Sh oh, I don't think so. I think Zandvoort is going to be a good track for racing. Hopefully, I'm not going to jinx it uh, by saying that. Let's see. Of course, you don't have too many overtaking opportunities, but in a five-lap race, that's what makes it fun. It's because uh, on a long race, uh, you could argue it's uh, it's going to be a boring race, but like it's a it's a short race, only five laps. So even though you don't have uh, space, um, you don't have space to go for moves, space for overtaking. Uh, people will go for it anyways. They won't waste time. So that's what, what's interesting. We're gonna see people going for moves when. There's not really space to go for moves. That creates excitement. Anyways, only 11 people here in this lobby. Let's just, well, let's see what, what those people can provide us. It's uh, not too many people here in the Spring Cup, but we do. Uh, we could see some good racing. Harry Bartram is going to start on pole position out of Brazen uh, in P2. Uh, Harry Bartram and a good opportunity for him to get back on a point. Serio in P3 ahead of Sukaman. In P4, that completes the second row. In the third row, it's Ricando and Callum. Both of those drivers, 
uh, they need a good result, and a good thing is they are ahead of both the Mercedes of Absolute Low, who's going to be sitting in P7, and his teammate, who's leading the championship, Tomo. Hello there is going to be in between both Mercedes and uh, Volt. Um, it's going to be starting in P10, right ahead of Alpe, who will be starting from the back. Anyways, here we go for yet another Grand Prix. The Netherlands Grand Prix is underway with Harry Bartram leading. What a getaway by Harry Bartram. And look at this, the Alfa Romeo already covered the inside line. Oh, and there's Absolute going wide. That's Absolute going wide. Absolute goes wide coming out of the first corner. That's, a, uh, that's drama for him. Oh, and look at this. Those drivers going side by side at the moment. And wow, trying to go side by side here through Zandvoort. Well, you, you gotta have what I call balls. And I do believe those drivers have that. Tomo in P4 at the moment. But Harry leads the Grand Prix ahead of Sukaman. Bra Brazen, Tomo. And I have right up, right up. Oh, look at this. It's a train, of course. You can't get any closer than that without touching. And Tomo already putting the pressure on the car ahead. Uh, Vricano in P5. And look at this. Uh, Tomo already looking to go around the outside of the Alfa Romeo. The Alfa covers. Oh, and look at this. Vricano trying to go for a move, a bold move. Uh, not a very smart move, I would say. But Tomo up to third place already. I had a raise in and Callum. Look at this. Callum. And oh, and Vricano trying to put himself. Oh, look at that. Trying to. I would say that was a desperate move. No, no reason to do that. Oh, and there's another spin. Brace and spins. Brace and spins. It's a spin fast here in Zandvoort. And look at this. Everything is going off. The McLaren trying to go down the inside of Callum. Callum trying to defend there from Volt. Look at this. Get in the back of the, the Haas driver. It's... Oh, <laughs> I gotta say, this is... This is hard racing, but this is fun racing, and look how close those people are. It's literally a strain of cars, and it's a Ferrari 1-2 at the moment. Ferrari trying to to put on a payback for um, for Brazil. Those two uh, looking very, very strong, I would say, here in Zandvoort. And, well, a Ferrari 1-2 would be perfect for Ferrari and for Harry and Sukerman. Trying to stop the Mercedes dominance. And here at the back of the grid, we do see Absolute trying to put on a comeback. That's not good for Ferrari, who who look, look to be the, the main championship rivals uh, for Ferrari. And as you can see, while well, Harry Bartram could be on a comeback here in the championship. Look at this Terrio. Losing a position as well there at the back of the can make it up a position. But look at this. Look at this. That's Sukaman up to first place. I wonder if that team orders... I do wonder if that team orders, because we just approached lap three, so no, I would say no DRS. Uh, they're absolute trying to go for the move on the McLaren, making contact side by side, which will bang in was big, massive lockup by the Mercedes driver, the Austrian driver, who just made, made up another position. And look at that, Mercedes again back into the the big points, and I would say uh, this is like 20. 2019 uh, type of Formula 1 action with uh, Ferrari eventually getting a good result but Mercedes always oh, there look at this Alpe Alpe goes wide Alpe goes wide and out of the track he is on a gravel and what just happened with that I just I think that's a snap of Volversteer of, of Understeer actually which probably cost him some positions anyways at Tomo is already in the back of both the Ferraris now the Ferraris need to play the team game if they want to win the championship, if they want to stop this Mercedes dominance, they need to play the team game. They cannot let the Mercedes close up. They cannot let Ento or they cannot let Tomo get the position. They need to fight, um, fight the Mercedes. That's what really matters here. P1 is still uh, loads of points for those drivers. We know that, but if they want to stop the Mercedes dominance, they gotta. They gotta bring more to the table. They need to do something different because, as you can see, Tom was just flying here in Zanvor. These two, well, I, I would say the team game could be helpful. Could be helpful. And, and Tom and I was gonna be in a very, very weird position because, well, as you can see, all oh, round the outside, round the outside goes Tomo, and what a move! Tomo goes up to second place, and ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the. Oh lord, oh, that's the move of the, the 14th edition of the Spring Cup. Oh my god, did you see that? 
Did you see that? Now Tomo splits both the Ferraris. Still, uh, the Ferraris are still ahead uh, in, in terms of points. But regardless, that that's just not. Well, that, that, that's not. That's not it. They they need a one two. They need more than that. I I feel like with Tomo now, Tomo has only one car ahead of him. Uh, as we approach the final lap of this Grand Prix, so wow. Um, if Tomo wants to get the move done, he needs to he needs to do it um, in the middle of the of the, um, of the race track. He, he can't wait for the the main straight because the main straight is the start finish line. This is the final lap, so he's got to to go for the move if he wants to do um, to go for the win, which he doesn't really need to. But if he wants to, he can only just sit back, just stay behind him, and. Uh, well, if you want to go for the move, he can, but it's gonna be risky. The thing is, what would you do now? If you're if you're Thomo, what would you do? Would you go for a boat move, risk all those big points just to get the win, or would you just stay behind a Ferrari? I do believe he's gonna stay behind him, and well, that's a time penalty for vote in P5. Superman, well, apparently, nothing that anyone can do about this. This man has done it all. He's defended from Harry. Well, he got the position on Harry. Now got the win. Tomo couldn't do anything about it. Superman is gonna cross the line to win the Netherlands Grand Prix. He takes uh, a very, very important win here in the Spring Cup. What a win for the well, so-called Russian driver. And well, Tomo finishes in second. Harry Bartram very disappointing. The guy who's on pole, who's leading the championship, down to third place. Still a good result, but I'm pretty sure he would want more that, more than that, if he wants to win the championship. Drive of the day goes to Thermo, according to the game, and I, uh, I would say, I would say my driver of the day is absolute. He got screwed up on a, uh, screwed up on the on the first lap. Made a good comeback, fourth place. Very, very good. Here we go. As you can see, that's. Um, well, Ferrari uh, is gonna get the the big points here in the the championship. So, well, Mercedes still there, even though they're not they're not top of the of the points here in this race, but uh, they're still there. They're still consistently there. And, and with Tomo taking the fastest lap, that only means he leads by by only five points. This is how things can change here in the Spring Cup. Only by five points uh, is the lead of the championship. Absolute, only 15 behind him. So a bad race for Thomo could, and a good race for his teammate could completely change everything on the championship. Callum in P4, P4 with 23 points ahead of Hello there with 18. Harry Bartram only 15 points. If he wants to win his first ever uh, Spring Cup, he needs to step up his game. He cannot. He cannot be uh, complacent with uh, those results. He needs to go for wins. That's what I want to say. Syria in P7, Alpe in P8, along with uh, Ricando. Not a great championship for Williams. But let's just take a look at the constructors. Mercedes leads by 20 points ahead of Ferrari, Hans, Alfa Tori, Williams, Red Bull. And now the only change in the championship is McLaren getting out of the. Uh, last position in, in the constructors. Mercedes leads the constructors and Tomo uh, and Tomo um, leads the drivers' championship. Now, time to look at the chat. Let's see what's going on. How many races will be there? Even uh, too many cars, too few laps. Can we open the lobby more? Okay, so I would ask you guys to not ready up. I uh, just wait a little bit, wait a little bit um, for some people to join. I would uh, invite friends. Can I invite some people as well? That'll be cool. Let's see who can invite. Um, um, 
Yeah, let's see if I need some people. Aaron is here. Look at this. Aaron has joined us. Amazing, amazing. We do have some more people. We have now 10 drivers, 11 drivers. Wow, everyone just reading up uh, pretty quickly, I would say. So, who says bye? Who says bye? Spectating. The real. Da -da -da. Oh, look, there's some Canadian. Canadian people joining. That's good. Lobby is getting. Oh, it's getting full. Anyways, let's just take a look at the chat. Oh damn. Oh dear. Uh, I had a pace. I made. I made a huge, huge mistake. So sorry. Subject. In, uh... Is this Xbox? Yes, Bouch or Booch? How do you say that? This is Xbox. You can join us if you want. Uh, yeah, you, you can join us. You can go on my profile. That's, uh, Matt Silva on Xbox and you just go on my profile and go on join game. This is an open lobby. So yeah, let's go. The real Eklund is going to start. The, let's just call him the real or Eklund. Am I pronouncing it right? Eklund, Eichlund, Eklund. I don't know. The real Eklund is going to start in P1, Vincent Gamer in P2, both uh, on their debut here in the Spring Cup. Brazen uh, is going to start ahead of Lucky, Favorite Shoe. Well, uh, loads of, lots of new people here, I would say. Absolute Low is in P6, ahead of Hello there. WD40, oh, let's just call him Ace. Uh, Aaron in P9, have Ricando, uh, Harry Bartram, both Vote, Sukaman, Sukaman Bank, or Sukaman. Uh, Alper, Callum, Tri Maple, and Tomo, the championship leader, will be starting from the back of the grid. Callum is going to be starting from P15. Uh, um, Alper, not in a, good, in a good position as well. The Ferraris, not in a great position, but ahead of Tomo, which is important. Absolute could be on for a win. He is the favorite to take the win here in the um, in the third round here of the, the Spring Cup. Absolute on. A good run in the championship, I would say. He could be on... Well, he could... Well, blah, blah, blah. like I said before, uh, if Thomo does not finish on points and Absolute finishes in P1, he could take the lead of the championship. So the championship is wide open. And ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, in the Spring Cup, expect the unexpected. Um, anything can happen. Well, Kevin says, I'm behind Aaron. He is... Uh, that, that's uh, that's something I'd be concerned about. That's for sure. And the real Eklin. Let's just go on. Should I message him? Da -da 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 -da. No, no. Just uh, that. That's the real Eklin. Uh, let's just hand him a... Oh, no, 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 no. The lobby is on. Let's go. Let's go. The five lights are on. And the Belgium... No, not the Belgium. The Bahrain Grand Prix is underway with the real Ackling leader the Grand Prix. Vincent Gamer, what a start. Taking over the lead of the Grand Prix already. He is in P1 going into turn one. It's going to be a dive bomb. My favorite shoe. It's Carnage here in the first lap, I can see. And look at this contact between Absolute and the Haas. The Haas goes wide. And look at this Rikendo getting collected. Getting collected by everyone. Look at that. What's going on here as we approach uh, the middle of the track? Absolute up to third already. Hello there in P4 ahead of Callum in P5. And Harry Bartram going side by side, wheel to wheel with the Hans driver. But well, he's not going to take the position here. He's going to try to go for the move around the outside. Well, very good defending in Callum, but. Harry, Harry, oh, Harry! Harry, what happened here? Carnage, Carnage, ladies and gentlemen, Carnage! Carnage here in the track, what happened? Oh my god, we see some people making contact with each other, but what happened? I believe Harry was involved in that, an absolute up to second. This man is a beast. He's just controlling this race like a real man. He's like, well, screw being Valtteri Bottas. My name now is Lewis Hamilton and his Mercedes scene. Oh, and look at this. Locking up, putting the pressure on, on the race leader. But you know who's also putting the pressure on him is Lucky. He is getting closer. Look at this battle on board now with the Alpha Tori driver. Oh, look, he makes contact. 
That's gonna open some space up for Absolute. He's gonna put on the outside, put on the inside actually. Oh, and look at this, in between two drivers, hello there. He's gonna try to take over the lead of the Grand Prix, Favorite Shu, his teammate. He's gonna try to go on the inside, approaching turn one, and look at this. What a good camera angle this is. we have now. Is that, is that Favorite Shu taking over the lead of the Grand Prix? Everything is happening here, but Absolute is gonna have a good go at him again. He fights back, puts on the outside, good defending by the AlphaTauri driver. What a result for AlphaTauri at the moment. Favorite Shu. Leading the Grand Prix, absolute in P2, ahead of Hello there in P3, ahead of Callum in P4. Aaron, JRL, Aaron is in P5. What a result by the Red Bull driver. And absolute putting the pressure on the Alpha Tori again. He just can't stop putting the pressure. And look at this, apparently, it's working. The pressure is on. And absolute is going to get the move done because of a, a rookie mistake by favorite shoe. Favorite show side by side now with the Mercedes. It should be a fairly easy move. Oh, and all the way around the outside is gonna go favorite shoe. Not the best place to go. It's absolute low. Up into first, up into the lead of the Grand Prix. And is looking to put on a very, very good result for him and his team as well. In well, regardless, Alpha Tori are having a, a mad race. A mad race. Favorite show is is really impressive here in the first few laps. Uh, Aaron is in P6, who would have thought, what a legend. Uh, Brazen in P7 had a vote 6, Sukaman Bink and Harry Borsham not in the points. Very, very disappointing by, oh look at this, the Alpha Tori going down the inside. He goes for the move, yeah, for the move anyways. Up to first goes favorite shoe with the tie penalty, which now promotes absolute low into the lead, I would say, of the Grand Prix. And that's uh, some dirty racing by favorite shoe. I could see that. Yeah, I saw that. I, I saw him trying to take it. Oh, and then Thomo! Oh, Thomo actually going for the move! Oh no! Oh no! And two drivers at the same time! Thomo with yet another move! Oh, and there's contact! Hello there, makes contact! Hello there, makes contact! That, there's drama! Drama here in the Bahrain Grand Prix, and the Mercedes are dominating again! It's a 1-2 for Mercedes for the second time, but this time it's personal. This time it's not about the championship, this time it's about the driver's championship. And Tom is going to get the advantage. He's going to be ahead at the end of this corner. Absolute low going for the switch, but wow. Alpha Tori, who were having a fantastic race. Now, P3 and P14. Rick Handel going for the move there in the back row. Oh, the Mercedes made contact. They made contact, not enough to spin none of those drivers out. And God... Wow, wow, god damn it, this is, this is simply amazing. Uh, we do have Hifu Shu still behind those two, but now, whoa, and, oh, Tomo has a penalty, Tomo has a penalty, so that means Absolute is gonna win the championship, if, if uh, the, not the championship, the, the race, if it finishes like this, he puts on the outside, approaching turn one, the question now, who's gonna break the latest, it's gonna be Tomo, or is it gonna be Absolute Low, on the outside, now on the inside, and look at this, still wheel to wheel, still side by side, and look at that, Absolute low, couldn't get the move done, Tomo with a very, very good defending, and look at the favorite show, favorite show is gonna go for a double move, not gonna work, but that's gonna bring these two side by side, it's Tomo versus Absolute low in Bahrain, looks like, wow, 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 this looks like Nico Rosberg and Hamilton, look at this again, side by side, a mistake by Tomo, is gonna bring the space for Absolute low, it's not gonna work, Sukaman Bank, uh, Sukaman Bank, is going to make a position there in the background, Aaron up to 8th place. But we keep our eyes on this battle for P1, which is happening right now. Those two, the championship leaders and, uh, and the constructors, battling for P1. Well, uh, at this point, well, you can say it's going to be Mercedes dominance, but the thing is... It's going to be... Oh, Tomo makes a... Oh, haha. Haha. Ha ha. I was going to say Tomo makes a mistake, but is that a mistake, really? Is that really a mistake? Or is that just Tomo being a little bit cheeky and just saying uh, he wants to be behind going into this corner? He, he doesn't want to be the car ahead uh, approaching the this big uh, DRS straight, which is one of the last ones of the track. This should be a fairly easy move by Tomo. He puts on the outside. We see there on the background Callum trying to go for the move of every shoe, but up to 
first place this time goes Somo, but still absolute low, has no time penalties, look at this, he's gonna come back at him, he wants to finish the race in P1 on track, he doesn't want to win off track, absolute low, up to first, again those two providing good racing, providing <laughs> screw good, good racing, that's great racing between those two, absolute, what a move. Uh, wow, what a dominance by the Mercedes Callum apparently couldn't get the move done on the Alpha Torre. Uh, Harry trying to put on a comeback up to 9th place ahead of Ricando. Alpa NP8 and Aaron out of the points, unfortunately. But look at this El Tomo. For one second, I thought he was. Um, I thought he, he spun, but that wasn't the case. Absolute is gonna. Well, at the moment, he's gonna. He's looking to take the a win here in the Spring Cup, and wow, this man, uh, he had to do that. He he just had to to go for it. He's not gonna take a penalty, even if Tomo goes for the move here. It's not gonna matter because Absolute Law has no penalties to serve. And this man rounds the final corner. He sees the checker flag, and Absolute is gonna cross the line to win. The Bahrain Grand Prix. And what a victory it was for both of the Mercedes. Vote 6 is going to finish in third place, closing off the podium ahead of Callum. Favorite shoes, Superman in P6 out of Alpe, Brazen, and Harry Barsham out of Ricando. As you can see, wow, I mean, I, I, I gotta say, I really gotta say. Ah, Ferrari were looking very, very strong, very, very, well. They could be the ones to, to stop Mercedes. They showed a lot of... Uh, uh, they showed a lot, but they didn't really do anything, I would say. Uh, only in Zanvar. It looks like it was a one-off. And Mercedes looking to take it. Another championship win here in the Constructors. It's a victory for Absolute. And oh my, was that needed for the Austrian driver. He closes in the gap in the championship standings, but Tomo finishing in second. Well, it's just, uh, it's not enough. It's just not enough for him. <sighs> Even if Absolute puts on the best, oh, by the way, Tomo, starting from the back of the grade up to second place. What a result. And Absolute just completely controlling the race there out of the front. Uh, Callum, from P oh yeah it's is it from the back yeah as it is Callum from P15 as well up to fourth place uh, what a what a result for Callum very very impressive the Ferrari drivers uh, involved in shenanigans in the middle of the race so at the moment only nine points separate Thomo and absolute lull anything can change ladies and gentlemen there's still plenty of races to go and um, Mercedes. 54 points ahead of Ferrari. What would it take um, for for them to um, to be stopped? Nobody can. Can anybody stop Mercedes? I was gonna ask can anybody stop Thomo, but apparently Absolute is saying, uh, "Well, I'm still here." He's doing a Valtteri Bottas, but is that the case of Valtteri Bottas that actually worked? Someone that actually went in there and challenged him. This is well, we reach halfway through the championship. We have USA, Azerbaijan, and Italy. Oh, do, uh, well, I don't like those strikes. Well, basically, if you want, if you want to, uh, let me just take a look here. If you want to, you can um, join the Spring Cup Discord, uh, and then you can vote for the tracks. There will be six tracks, and then you can vote for what tracks that you want to race. Um, oh wait, Aaron, 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 sorry mate, sorry, but that's how it works, um, if I see too many people complaining about one driver, you will be kicked, regardless if, if I know you, if you're, if you're an OG of the Spring Cup, if you're the leader of, of the championship, it doesn't matter, if too many people comp complain about you, um, I'll be forced to kick you, so I'm really, really sorry mate, so next time, He's trying to not spring up, just trying to behave like like a, a normal person. Anyways, uh, Harry Bartram complained about him, and and, uh, and Alpe complained about him. So yeah, that's a shame. 
I know it's just a penalty I got, which wasn't my fault. Nah, nah. Yeah, everyone, join the Discord. Let's just take a look here. It's going to be the, the USA Grand Prix. It usually provides good racing. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Superman Bank is going to start from P1. Tomo is going to start in the front row. So, well, the game is, is well, favoring the Mercedes here ahead of... Cool guy, hello there, Absolute, who's gonna be starting P5, Harry Bartram in P6. Well, the Mercedes can't, well, the Ferrari actually, can't put on a good race here. Uh, it's uh, an open lobby, so anything can happen. Uh, Calum in P13, Alpine in P11. Ah, oh, wow, Ricciano in P15. Uh, let's see how this goes. Harry Bartram, well, it's Mercedes versus Ferrari here in the championship, really. Let's see if they can do anything about it. And let's see if Absolute Low can beat Tomo. Here we go again. The five lights are on. And the United States Grand Prix is underway. With cool guys move getting that drive through penalty already. Tomo takes over the lead of the Grand Prix. Approaching turn one. Sukaman Bank is going to go all the way around the outside. That's bold. But that's a move for P1. Here we go. Uh, apparently everyone got out of turn one is caved. And well, cool guys move has a time penalty. Expect some people spinning here. And those um, asses, well, what would I say? Harry Bartram getting spun round in P16. They got a few for this man. Uh, just completely having a, what I call bad luck. But this driver, Sukaman, is still leading the Grand Prix. And what I would say, it's, um, it's a very... Very important win, but he has a time penalty already. How is that even possible? So Thomas is gonna lead if he, if he finishes like this. Volt losing a position to Absolute, who's trying to put on a comeback. He needs to do it now. He needs to do it as quick as he possibly can because he needs to chase down his teammate. But Callum at the moment is trying to go for a move up to fifth place. He goes. Ah, uh, we do see some people battling for P7 here as well. Uh, we have a Vricando on the inside of uh, a racing point, literally on the inside, no exaggeration. Let's see what's happening here in the back of the grid. Oh, and trying Maple is losing a position, and round he goes. Harry Bartram needs to put on a comeback. Tomo is all over the back of the Ferrari driver. Sukaman Bank is just a sitting duck here, isn't it? He, he knows that he has a raging Mercedes approach in the back of his car. He has two raging Mercedes, actually. So, well, the pressure is on race leader. The pressure is, in, is on Tomo, who has a dragon approaching uh, the back of his car there in P3. Volt is in P4, ahead of Callum in P5. WD, 40 Ace is in P6. Vricando, he has Vricando for company. Just closing in the gap. Look, uh, some some interesting stuff happening here in the back of the grid. We see Alpe, and I believe it's this uh, Renault driver. Uh, yeah, evolved in something there, I would say. Anyways, Tomo. Let's just go on board with Tomo here, should we? Um, Sukaman Bank covers the inside line. He goes for the move anyways. He's going to try to outbreak the Ferrari. No space given, and... Well, Tomo again around the outside. Well, the Ferrari doesn't really need to go to give him space because it's it's his racing line. He's ahead. But Tomo, we know he loves to go for the move here, and he does it again. He takes the move just like in a in the previous edition of the Spring Cup. He goes for the move, takes the move in that corner, and when somebody goes wide in that corner, he goes deep. He goes on the inside and gets the move done. That's what he's done lately. And what just happened here? Is that a mistake by Tomo? Yes, it is. Down to second place. Superman takes over the lead of the Grand Prix. Um, let's just take a look here at the back. If we can catch some attention. Catch some, uh, some action. Looking on the inside of the racing point. Gets the position. But still, a battle for P1. Anyways, just looking at the... Um, at the let's just take a look here. At uh, the penalties. It's a two-second time penalty. So if it, if it finishes like this, it's going to be yet another... Well, I can't believe I'm saying this, but another 1T um, for Mercedes. <laughs> Can you, uh, you... You can't ask for uh, a more dominant performance by a team here in the Spring Cup series. 
Really? Never seen anything like that. Domo, again battling with the Ferrari. Those two have been battling throughout the race ever since the first corner. Those two have been battling. And it looks like it's not gonna change anytime soon. Let's see if the Ferrari can do anything about this. Goes wide. Can he get the better line approaching this corner? He can, but apparently Thomo is gonna maintain the lead of the Grand Prix on board now with um, either jeans. Let's see what he can do. The racing point driver going very, very wide. Struggling, I would say. And the United States Grand Prix which usually provides good racing is providing us I would say a bore fest if it wasn't for the battle for the lead which is happening right now this would be a boring Grand Prix but Tomo under pressure again by Sukaman even though Sukaman is not gonna finish in P1 or P2 if he finishes like this I would say he's showing us some pace he's showing us that well he is there and well, you never know, but Tomo could get a penalty here. And oh, going wide, going wide, going wide and wide. Into the grass. Oh, and there's a massive collision. Absolute low. Oh, no. And he gets a time penalty. Oh, my God. No way. Oh, as uh, Sukaman leaves the sash and rage quits. Absolute low. He must be gutted. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, you gotta feel for the man. He, he was... He was putting on a great race, absolutely low. Um, well, he he made up some positions, was controlling P3, he was gonna finish P2. Uh, well, it was not... I, I wouldn't say it's... Um, it's uh, Sukeman's uh, fault. It was out to a race, racing incident. He basically uh, went off the track, lost traction, spun, and uh, the Mercedes got collected by it. Absolute is gonna try to put on a comeback. Let's see what he can do from P6. On board here with the Austrian driver. Uh, the fan favorite, I would say here in the in the chat. I see some people cheering for him. Down the inside, could we see that? Oh, n no need really. Vote six. This is going deep and well just the shilling there he leaves the session I wonder why he left the session anyways um we can get in a two second time penalty absolute low on the back of level kr 52 let's just call him level wouldn't that be better and well Ricando in second place by the way uh, even though he has a time penalty what a result by Ricando Callum, though. Looking, looking very, very impressive. A little bit of a internet, internet delay. Fox the Fox, I would say, is the. Um, well, he loves uh, Absolute, doesn't he? Speaking of which, Absolute making up a position, locking up, overshooting the corner a little bit. It's gonna be side by side at the end of the next corner. Wow, he takes the position again and. Uh, trying to put on yet another comeback by Absolute. Tomo looking to win his sixth um, championship. And well, he's certainly showing everyone that he is here to do that. Tomo crosses the line to win the United States Grand Prix. What a win, yet another win by Tomo. Callum is going to finish second place ahead of Ricando in third. Absolute Law is going to finish in fifth place. Due to his penalties, which is sad for him. Level one before, ahead of uh, the Mercedes, ahead of Harry Bartram. Hello there, lucky favorite shoe and Superman who leaves the session. Wow, 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 wow! Yet another win by Tomo, ladies and gentlemen. I don't really know what to say. I gotta drink some water. I'm talking too much. Driver of the day is Rick Hando. And so unfair on absolute indeed, 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 indeed. Uh, what a shame for him, isn't it? Um, uh, what could have been a good result is not. And um, 
Well, Callum, by the way, in second place. Congratulations to Callum. What a result by the British driver. Um, and P3 is Kevin, or, well, aka Rick Handel. Let's see. I kept myself clean on penalties this time. Yeah, and that's a good result for you. Let's take a look at the standings with that. 24 points. Um, well, 24 points. That means that Absolute Love needs to outscore Tomo. He needs to outscore Tomo or neither of them can finish on points because, well, as you can see, um, oh, a 78, well, Ferrari needs to put on a, a 20, a 28, uh, lead on a Mercedes, no, not really. I got taken out right at the start, FML, so let's hello there. Hello there, mate. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Also, when will Matt learn that's not the Austrian flag? What? What do you mean that's not the Austrian? That's not the Austrian flag. You're serious. Wait, no way. Is that the Austrian flag? <laughs> what? Well, two races. So basically, Absolute Low needs to outscore Thomo. If Thomo finishes ahead of Absolute Low, um, that's it. Championship over. <sighs> it's this race, and then the next one. The next one will be a one shot quality plus a 25% race. This is the finale. The finale has to be a little bit more important. There's going to be a little bit of prestige to the finale. And that's what we are going to see. It's. Uh, Okay, sorry. Wow, I keep. <laughs> yeah, sorry for that. I really thought it was the Austrian flag. <laughs> I kept calling him the Austrian driver. What an idiot. Well, I didn't know, so. Uh, let's see. I believe only Absolute Low can, can win the championship a part of them, uh, Thomo. Uh, well, he, fin he starts P14. And Tomo P7. Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta say, this is looking like it's the worst possible scenario for Absolute Low. Who could, oh, if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for that result uh, in, the, in the last race, well, uh, we could have seen um, a different story going into this race. But of course, it's Azerbaijan. That promotes. Madness, Azerbaijan, especially online, is is a is a race of madness. Anyways, Filthy is gonna start in pole position ahead of MK1. Hello there, and Eater Jeans is gonna start in the second row ahead of Mr. Vil and Alpe. Alpe, could he take his first win? How crazy would that be? Domo ahead of Lucky, ahead of Vote, and ahead of Harry Bartram. Let's see who else we have. Absolutely, MP14, Callum, MP16, Vricana, MP17. And here we go. The penultimate race is about to go underway. Everyone is ready. Feel to get the time. Oh, a drive through penalty. The five lights are off. And the Azerbaijan Grand Prix is underway. With, I would say, hello there, leading the Grand Prix. Because Filti has a time penalty. What's well, happening there in the background? Jonix going wide. Oh, and there's a, a racing point of cool guys Smooth on the background. Losing up some time. Uh, crashing into the walls. Thomo. Oh, and there's a crash. There's a crash here. Jonix and Level uh, involved in some shenanigans. L uh, Thomo. Battling there with Harry Bartram for oh Thomo going wide. How cool would that be? Um, Absolute low on the inside of Callum. Absolute low needs to go for the move. He has literally nothing to lose, everything to gain. And battling for position is oh look at this. Look at just take a look at this. How am I supposed to commentate this race? Everyone on the line. Everyone going for moves. Oh my god, Harry Bartram and hello there. Harry Bartram up to third third place he goes. Oh and there's Carnage. That's oh oh there's a massive collision there in the background. 
I wonder what happened here. A, a, a crash in the castle section. Look at this. Ope just being collected, I would say. Losing the car there as well. Domo is up to second place. Absolute low. It's gonna try to go for the move. No way. Down the inside. This is not the place you would usually see a move. But he went for it anyways. Both of the Mercedes. Very, very creative in terms of uh, of going for moves here today. What a move by Absolute Low. That's something to be um, proud of. Harry Bartram in P4 at the moment. Either Gene is going to lose a position. Is going to have a go back at him again. Tomo, this could be very crucial for the championship. Uh, Absolute Low uh, leading. Well, no, leading being in P2. That's good for him because that, that keeps his hopes of winning the championship alive. Thomas is not going to go for the build move. Either Jeans and Harry Bartram in P4. Oh, look at this. Either Jeans going straight into the walls. There's a crash there. Ricando involved in a crash as well. Wow, carnage here in Azerbaijan. You would have expected that, wouldn't, wouldn't you? And uh, look at this absolute low covering the inside line. He's really, really defensive. He has literally nothing to lose, as I said before. And... It's a trio for the win. It's a Mercedes versus Ferrari. Oh, and, uh, and Tomo trying to go for a bold move. For a very desperate move there. Didn't really work. Uh, the, the, the British driver trying to take P2. If he does it, he wins it here. If he doesn't, it goes to Italy. It goes to Monza, the finale. The finale of Monza. We're really, really expecting that. It's going to be a good race, that's for sure. Well, we usually see some good racing there. Let's see. Oh, and the race leader. Hello there. Hello there. Losing a position. He, he gets collected in, in a castle sh section. Lost the lead of the Grand Prix. And now Absolute leads the Grand Prix. He leads the way ahead of Tomo. Harry Bartram. And hello there. It's a Mercedes Mercedes. Ferrari Ferrari. Again, both the Ferraris leading. The... Leading everything. And... Well, in a matter of laps, we see the Mercedes up there. It could be yet another Mercedes 1-2. Those two, I would say, they are all, oh, look at this, Alpe up to 8th as well. Those two are, what I would say, dominating this, this uh, Spring Cup. I would say, I mean, I I'm comfortable saying this, that this is the most dominant performance by a team in a Spring Cup in its history. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, Hello there comes into the pits for some odd reason. I wonder why he's done that. Changing tires. What's going on? I'll be up to sixth place. What is this? And Tomo up to first place. No, no, no. Side by side. They're side by side. It's side by side. It's wheel to wheel through the streets of Azerbaijan, the streets of Baku. It's not optimal to go side by side through here. They're not going to do that. Not for long. Or are they? They really are. Tomo is gonna try to go round the outside, round the outside of his teammates. Look at this, it's all over the back of him. He makes contact. Oh, uh, I think Harry Bartram actually gave him a little bit of a, uh, a boost. Whoa, going wide, going wide. Look at those two. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. This is a battle for the ages. As they approach the castle section, very, very, very dangerous. The section is, but I think the most dangerous part of the track. Oh, Harry Bordrum almost taking it uh, and Tomo out, but in the process, up to second place. Absolute low must be. Oh, and there's a crash. There's a crash, and Harry Bordrum, I think, got the worst out of the situation. What's gonna, what's happening? What's happening? No, no idea, no idea, but Absolute Low leads the way three seconds ahead of Harry Bordrum, ahead of Tomo. Tomo, well, if, if you wanted to do something, well, you see a little bit of, uh, of uh, a delay in the stream, a little bit of uh, some internet problems here, but uh, uh, well, what's happening here? WD, losing a position to Ace. Is that the case? Don't know, but Tomo trying to go back at Harry Bortram, even though uh, Tomo is getting the move, his championship rival. Jam Pancakes, just kidding. His championship rival, Absolute, is um, leading, which is not good for him, but Harry Bartram is gonna have a go at him again. Back at him again, up to second. And I, I would say Harry could be helping in some ways. I I'm not sure if he wants to help Absolute, but, well, he wants that P2, doesn't he? He really wants it, and he's gonna go for it, up to second place. They were side by side through there, but now, Harry play. Oh, Harry takes second. What's happening with Absolute? What's happening with him? 
Oh my goodness, what's happening with the, the, with the Ferrari driver? Oh, for, uh, Harry Bartram takes Absolute out! Harry Bartram takes down Absolute! He ends his championship hopes! Harry Bartram... Wow, wow... Oh my god... Oh, it's Tomo! Tomo! What's happening with Tomo? What's happened with him? Oh my god, what happened? What happened with Tomo? Oh, he's been collected in the castle section. It's oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> I wonder if that's. Well, I don't know. I don't know. But Absolute Low, this is amazing. Absolute Low, who was leading the Grand Prix, got taken out, and then he would say it's over. But now, Tomo got involved in an incident. He's down to 10th place. I mean, I would say I wonder if this is um, just Thomo thinking that it's not fair for him to win the championship this way. Um, it, it's, an, it's a possibility, but look at this level. One position, two positions. What a move for the lead of the Grand Prix. Approaching the final lap, Harry Bartram is going to try to defend. He loses the lead of the Grand Prix and Callum. Revenge for absolute law. Can we see that? Oh, and look at this Callum down the inside gets a little tap from the from behind and Callum is well Could possibly take second place out of Harry. We see Alpe on the back of him as well Alpe is battling for the podium. Look at this Harry Bartram gets spun around Harry Bartram gets spun around and Alpe is in second place. Callum could win the Grand Prix what a race, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and Tomo getting spun again. Oh, and this is big for the championship. This is big. This is massive. Well, with, with absolute law in P2, he needs to, well, he, he needs to take his chances. And, well, at the moment, he is doing a very, very good job. Alpe feeling the pressure that in P2, Callum is in P3 level. Let's see how much penalties he has. He has a two-second time penalty. So, at the moment, he is going to win the Grand Prix. Wow, what a race, ladies and gentlemen. Making up 10 positions as well. So, what a performance by himself. Absolute lawless in P5. That's good for him in a championship. That keeps his championship hopes alive. If you're, well, Fox the Fox, who is a, a, an absolute low fan, has got to be smiling from ear to ear. But this man, well... He's new in the Spring Cup series. He's gonna see the checker flag from a long distance. For the first time in the Spring Cup, we see LVL level winning the, a Grand Prix. He wins the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, and that's a victory for the Alfa Romeo team. Callum finishes in second place again. I had of Harry Bartram, Absolute Law finishes in fourth place. I had of Alpe. That's great for him. Alpe finishes in P5 ahead of Ricando, who uh, got, I believe, did he get taken out as a start finish line? Wonder what happened to him? No, not really. He's in P6. Out of Hello there, Cool Guy Smooth, um, Tri Maple, and Tomo. When I say N Tomo, it's AND Tomo. I'm not calling him M Tomo, by the way. Just, just letting you guys know. Tomo is gonna finish in P10. Not good for him in the championship. I, I could argue that this could be uh, him uh, feeling that it was not, it was not a fair way uh, to win the championship uh, on absolute or absolute lull. And uh, well, you, uh, that's a speculation. That's just you, you, you can you can't say anything about that. You can't prove anything. So well, I do believe absolute deserves uh, the points. He deserves to close in the championship. Uh, because he's putting on a, a great performance uh, throughout this championship and he got taken out once and then twice and uh, it, w it wouldn't really be fair on him to lose the championship that way but the thing is there's still the finale in Italy in Monza so there's still a lot of racing well it's a 25% race it's a big finale the big one the last one and well I'm looking forward to that the championship will be decided. Can absolute low stop M Tomo's dominance in the in the in championship? Just brain fog a little bit there. Uh, anyways.
Uh, Callum says kick either Gene. He kept swerving the straights. Okay. Took him from R2. Um, Luna Hamilton at back queue hasn't worked yet. That Red Bull tried to take everyone out. Okay. Okay, so either Gene. All right. So congratulations to Mercedes on winning the championship again for I believe it's the second time in a row But I don't remember what happened in the 12th edition of the Spring Cup But yes, they win the constructors yet again another uh, Dominant performance by Mercedes in the constructors It is the most dominant performance in the history of the Spring Cup I would say in my opinion of course This is this is simply Ah, wow, this is um, amazing, I would say. Absolute, taking the fastest lap as well, that helps him in this constructors. 12 points in the... Well, whoa, 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 Callum can still win this. Callum, apparently Callum can... I mean, if both of those drivers don't don't finish on the... Uh, on the top 8... Yeah, if both those drivers don't finish, if the top two drivers don't finish in the top eight in Italy, that could mean... Well, and that if Callum wins it, that could mean Callum could be the champion, but it's very... Well, that it, it, it will most likely not happen, uh, if you want me to be honest, but... With a 12-point lead in the championship. Kick AQR. Tomo, he's dirty. Yes, I'm doing that. Tomo, you will be kicked permanently from the Spring Cup. Uh, can I win soon? I can still win this. Help me, Lance. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So, let me take this quick look here at the... Uh, let's just make some predictions. This is cool. This is going to be cool. It's a 12 point lead. This are signs. I'm looking here at the, at the standings. Um, let's see, he has 90. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna change here. One thing formation lap for me. Yeah, almost forgot. Almost forgot. One shot, dynamic, random. Oh no, uh, official race settings formation lap. Where's the formation lap? Um, where's the formation lap, by the way? 25%. Off, on. Here we go. Here we go. Spectate. Here we go. This is the finale. 90 points and 78. This is the final race of the season. This is amazing. This is uh, what you guys have been looking for, I would say. Uh, 90 and 78. So, if Absolute Low finishes in P1. Okay, alright. Let's just take a look at how things go, shall we? It's gonna be a one shot quality. So, that means, ladies and gentlemen, this is so important. You have no idea. 14 seconds to go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. It's a 25% race. And, well, now it's it, this is it this qualifying session it's one of the i would say the qualifying session in the final in the finale was one of the most exciting parts of, uh, of the spring cup because there's always unpredictability why is it because well not necessarily being a quick driver that's not gonna push you on pole it doesn't matter how quick you are if you cut a single corner if you go a little bit wide if you get a warning your lap is over boom you only get one shot to put on a, that good lap. And with the championship widely open, I do believe that the pressure is now on. And there are a couple of corners, especially in Ascari. I think Ascari is going to be the the main place that people will invalidate their laps. It's so easy to chew and validate for there, for the entry of Ascari and through the exit. So, 
Looking very, very interesting. It's on dynamic, by the way. It's on dynamic. Uh, rule weather. Uh, race weather. So, I do believe that whew, anything can happen. A uh, race. Uh, could we could we see some rain? That would that would be cool. That would be cool. Anyway, imagine imagine a rain in the race. Yeah, formation lap. I do believe the formation lap is. Uh, yeah, and yeah, we could we could talk about that. We could talk about that. The formation lap is gonna be cool. Just so we can talk about everything that's going on. Anyways, twelve viewers. Thanks everyone for being here. Thank you very much. Um, you see here the all the drivers, the Canadian duo in the Racing Point, the well Hamilton and Bottas, or Hamilton and, and Rosberg. I think this is not Hamilton and Bottas. This is Hamilton and Rosberg, and um, and the Mercedes. Here we go for a lap of Italy. Let's just see how this qualifying session goes. Apparently, uh, Ace has the best straight line speed, Tomo, and level. So keep an eye on those drivers. Approaching turn one, let's see what's happening. Are we going to see an invalidation here in the first corner? Apparently, everyone got through turn one as unscathed. Alpe is looking very strong in this qualifying session. He's in P5 at the moment. Tomo is in second place. Could be on for pole, but WD40 has provisional pole. Tomo takes all. Oh, apparently, w, uh, WD40. 48 made a mistake. It's a Mercedes 1-2 on uh, po on uh, provisional pole. Uh, Tomo is on provisional pole ahead of absolute low in P2. Oh, in P2, absolute low takes over prov provisional pole. What a battle for a pole position there we have, and this could be very very important in the championship. Harry Bartram in P4 and above the Williams looking very very strong in quality. Now we approach one of the most dangerous parts of qualifying. Look at this. Let's see how those people take this absolute low. Oh, invalidates his line. I do believe. Let's just take a look here. Did he? He invalidated his lap. I of Tomo who invalidated as well. Wow. Harry Bartram, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna go around the final corner. He will be the first man to cross the line. And Alpe is in second place. Can Alpe take Paul away from Harry? No, he can. And Harry Bartram is gonna finish and P1 here in qualifying. He takes pole position here in Monza. Out of Alpe, what a result by Alpe. Alpe finishing in second place here in qualifying. He's gonna start in the front row. This is massive. What's happening with Alpe? Oh, we're seeing a new man here. He's gonna start in the front row. Uh, Callum and P3. But the thing is, the story going into this is. Um, well, apparently, we're not gonna have any rain race. But the story going into this is. Um, uh, absolutely low. Is gonna oh he got disqualified and he's gonna start behind Tomo. Thing is, this is a 25% race. So strategies will play uh, will be a big factor in this race. I would say. Um, look at you. well half the grid got disqualified and half the grid qualified. That's what I said before. You can the majority of those people when validated in the in the Ascari chicane as predicted. So now that all, the one shot quality is over, let's just take a look here. Um, Hello there, MP4 as well. What a result for Ferrari. No no, no chance of Ferrari taking the, the championship. Yeah, no chance. Um, let's see. Apparently, Vricando and Callum got uh, an, an invalidation as well. Basically, um, absolute low. He needs to out-qualify Tomo by 12 points. In a in a 25% race, that's not easy, not at all. He's got to do the impossible. If he does it, if at the end of the stream uh, we're talking about how absolute low managed to win the championship, this is this has got to be one of the one of the great comebacks here in the Spring Cups. Uh, this is this is great. This is um, great stuff. But well, the championship is still wide open. Um, this is gonna stop Callum, to be honest. Bruh. Yeah, well, the Mercedes is gonna be starting from the middle of the grid, so expect the unexpected here in this 25% race. We do have a formation lap, and let's see. A lot of people will be, will get their laps invalidated. But here we go. The, um, let's just see the, the tire strategy, by the way, which I forgot. 
Bobina is gonna start. At, well, oh look at this! Look at this! Those two just going for it. <laughs> really going for it. What, what's happening here? Oh my God! Oh well, the, the predicted the predicted pit stop strategy is on lap seven to lap twelve. I would say lap seven and lap eight. I would even say lap six could be a could be a, a good lap to pit. Alpine and Callum will be uh, will get the opportunity to warm their tires up. Harry Barsham is gonna start uh, on uh, cold tires, so expect Alpine to lead approaching turn one. But well, you never know. Uh, Bobina not beater. Tomo absolute lol and sexy. Is gonna well all those drivers will be starting and look at this. We'll be starting on a set of mediums. And apparently Thomo got disqualified from the formation lap. Now this is interesting because that means that absolute low gets a little bit more of a of an advantage over the other drivers. Um no over his championship rival actually. He will be. Okay, I just have an interview with anyone in Chat racing. Yes, yes, I could do that. I could do that. Oh, we try and turn play Mercedes, yes, uh -huh, but no. I get what? <laughs> What's that, Thelmo? Yeah, I'm never doing the formation lap ever again. That's for sure. That's for sure. That's that's a hundred. I'm not doing that again. Anyways, everyone is back in the grid, and we just wait now for. Well, let me just change this. Detail position changes, and here we go. Everyone is now lining up on the grid. This is the finale, ladies and gentlemen. The race we've all been waiting for. Here we go. The five lights are on, and the Italian Grand Prix. is underway with WD40 leading the Grand Prix. We had a glitch. He's going to be leading approaching turn one and by quite a lot. Alpe is going to be in P2 ahead of Callum and Harry Bartram. Callum is going to throw. Oh, and there's carnage. There is carnage. Oh, look at this madness coming. Oh, look at this. Both the championship rivals, Tomo and, and Absolute, going side by side. Absolute takes P10. He takes it up a position. He's ahead of his championship rival. And, uh, whoa, 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 trying to go for a move on Bobina. What's going on here? Let's just take a look. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Tomo almost losing his car. But, um, well, absolute up to seventh, but another a comeback. Let's just change, change what's happening here. Let's just, yeah, the telemetry. Here we go. Here we go. Harry Bartram on the back of Callum as well. Approaching the Ascari chicane. Callum covers the inside line now. Not really. Harry Bartram is going to go for the dive bomb down the inside. They make contact once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Just kidding. Look at this again. The pitch up strategy. But this is a better for P1. WD40 is already losing up some positions. I think he's out. And Alpe. Alpe leads the Grand Prix. Alpe leads the way. And could we see Alpe winning the grand finale? Well, that would be something. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? Uh, but remember, both the Mercedes on the medium tires. They are on the different, uh, the alternate strategy. It's lap two out of 13, not too many laps. It's a short Grand Prix, I know that. But it should provide good racing. Trying Maple is moving up a position. He should be able to, oh, look at this, absolute low. Trying to well, he can't. He can't afford to lose a position. Uh, well, he can, but he can afford to get taken out. I would say he's gonna lo lo win one position and then another. I'm kind of stuttering here. This is a time that I kind of get a little bit. Oh, look at this! He ran over. Whoa, that was close. That was really close. But both the Mercedes really close to each other. I do believe that that's um cool guy. Yeah, it is. Harry Bartram on the back of Alpe as well. But anyways, uh, th that's the time that I, I started to stutter because, well, I've been talking for so long. And uh, level, both the level guys going side by side, wheel to wheel, approaching Ascari. But the thing is, level KR52 is going to take the position and up to 7 he goes. Congratulations. Go Absolute, you can do it. Fox the Fox, I appreciate the commitment. Really rooting for... 
Wait, um... Uh, for some reason... Yeah, anyways, th this game is just a little bit glitched. Never mind. Um... Let's just take a look at what's going on here. Alp is still leading the way ahead of Harry Bortram, ahead of Callum, Absolute Love, Tomo, both the level guys, AKM. And look at this, something going on here at the back of the, of the grid. Vricando going, he's on a battle with uh, not better, going wide. Ace is gonna, well, Ace is not here, so nothing's gonna happen. Nothing he can do about that. But not beater is under pressure. Alpe losing a position to Harry Bortram. Uh, a, 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 a position change for the lead of the Grand Prix. Harry Bartram, let's see if he can maintain this lead uh, in the remaining 10 laps of, of racing. He puts on the inside. Again, another move by Alpe. Now trying to regain the lead as he does. Oh, and look at Harry Bartram taking Alpe out of the race. Yeah, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Wow, that's yet another time that we see. Um, well, Alpe now, next victim, um, he gets taken out, and, well, Callum's gonna lead the way, Callum leads the way, and now, isn't that funny, everyone crashing out, but both the Mercedes, apparently, not involved in anything, <gasps> Tomo comes into the pit and left 4 out of 13, Mm, that's very, very impressive. That's very interesting. Not impressive. I would say that's interesting. Why? Because that's not the time that you should pit on the medium tires. Well, that's not time to pit, but he's probably going to try to put on a comeback on his teammates. Uh, the undercut could be very, very... I wouldn't say it's that powerful here, but the undercut can work. Let's see um, how his absolute low is going to come back. Oh, 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 Harry Barch and what's happening with him? Losing a, a couple of positions down to fifth place. But let's see how the undercut can uh, can work. And let's see if absolute low. Let's see how he's going to clap back and uh, at Tomo. Let's see how he's going to retaliate. Callum at the minute in P1. But for how long? Uh, Tomo. So, not Tomo. Uh, wait, wait. Tomo by the way, in P12, but I'm talking about Absolute LOL, as Harry Bartram makes up a position, but Absolute LOL on a set of medium tires is gonna take over the lead, oh look at this, Harry Bartram and Alpe colliding again, I, I don't think that's uh, an accident, if you want me to be honest, as Callum defends, oh, and Harry Bartram going very, very wide, using the grass a little bit there, Absolute LOL pits, for a set of softs. Now the thing is, he's gonna come back on fresher softs. Thing is, his rival now is Thomo, sitting in P11 at the moment. He goes around the parabolic uh, corner. Let's see where he's gonna come out. Ricardo is uh, getting a position. It won't be close, or is it? It will be close. It will be very close. The undercut, did it work? Well, I would say it kind of worked because now Tomo is all over the back of Absolute, but now Absolute has fresher, he has a, a brand new set of softs to play with. None of them have penalties, P penalties could be a major factor here in this race. Harry Bartram making up a position, he is, he went, f he went into the pits to put on a new set um, of mediums. Approaching lap 5 out of, fi of 13, hold on a second. Alpe, what's he doing? Uh, just sitting in the back of the Red Bull driver. This lucky guy, he needs to be lucky right now because he has a raging Williams just approaching the back of his car. Callum, though, 10 seconds ahead of the competition, really driving that Haas like he stole it. And lucky. Um, really under pressure. Is he gonna come into the pits? No one is gonna try to go on for a. Whoa, Alpe getting a five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane, basically ruining um, his race, I would say. It's a yellow flag in sector three, what do we have here? We see some moves going on, both the, what, Tomo, Tomo, oh, what a move by Tomo, and Absolute is going to lose two positions at the same time. He loses two positions, and oh dear, is that frustrating. Now he needs to, oh, he makes contact with AKM. But now, he chases down his teammates, both of them have penalties. He has the fastest lap though, 
both of them have penalties. This could be very, very interesting. Absolute low. From now on, he's gonna have the advantage of the, the fresh tires. Callum still going. And I wonder if Callum is gonna take over the lead uh, as soon as he, oh, as, as he takes the time penalty. I wonder if he's gonna take over the lead as he pits. Because, well, even though he hasn't pitted, he's just there. He's just chilling. He's just in the lead and and avoiding all types of carnage. Uh, and let's be honest, 11 seconds ahead of the competition, you wouldn't expect anything to happen to him. You would just expect him to just stay there, just chill there in the lead. Let, let me just drink a little bit of water. The pit window is open for the, the sub drivers. Let's see how they do. Let's see if they're gonna come in. Ricando though, in P7, behind both of the Mercedes. Hello there, in P14, losing a position. He is not in the race, I believe he left. Thomo with the fastest lap as well. So, well, at the moment, it's a good result for Haas, F1 team. Callum leads the way. Could he win a Grand Prix here? Finishing off with a win. That would be very, very good for Callum. He needs that if he wants to win the championship. But the thing is, Thomo on absolute low need to collide with each other. Something needs to happen. And speaking of them, both of them going on a battle. So, Callum needs to pray that those two collide and lose positions. Because we're in lap 7 out of 13. If they don't finish on a point, well, that means that Callum's gonna win it. Well, Callum is is yet to pit, so I. Well, uh, you just you just can't predict anything here, can you? Absolute going around the outside. He gonna have oh, he's gonna have a great exit coming out of Lesbo too, and he gets the position. This is big in the championship, but still not enough. He needs to outscore his teammate by 12 points if he wants to win the championship. But the thing is, Tomo at the moment is winning the championship. The thing is, 12 points. If you're finishing 18. Mm, yeah, Thomo can just sit behind him, um, can he? He can just sit behind his teammate and uh, enjoy as everyone comes into the pits. Callum, the leader, comes into the pits as well. Oh, he's coming out of the pits at the moment. Ricando is gonna come back uh, ahead, but Thomo still on the back of Absolute Low. Can Absolute win it. Oh, only time will tell, but if it, well, Lucky needs to pit, so I would say Absolute has the net lead of the Grand Prix. Uh, now, but well, Thomo is gonna try to change that. Down the inside goes Thomo, gets the position, another position change up and getting a three second time penalty. Absolute lull. Oh, um, a big mistake! A big mistake, but absolute lull. And with that, well, Thomo is gonna be. NP2, which is not good for Absolute Low, and this could mean yet another championship victory. His sixth uh, championship victory for Tomo. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, now part of EQR. Uh, what's the name of that team? Um, Equinox? Is, is, that, is, that, is that it? Equinox Racing? I really don't remember me. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, the gaps are pretty big here. So let's just take a look at one thing. Let's just take a look at the penalties. Three seconds for... Well, now the top three. Because Lucky pits. Let's see. Uh, his pits off three seconds for um, the majority of them. Only Ace, Lucky, and a couple of drivers there at the back of the grid don't have penalties. There's the tire strategy. Uh, everyone has stopped, apart from a hello there, w WD48 uh, MK1 MM. Uh, absolute low and Thomo made up 14 and 13 positions. Uh, I would say the driver today is still absolute low, in my opinion. Uh, he's done a, a brilliant job. And let's just take a look here at the. That's not what I want. What do I want? Um, tire penalties. Yeah, that's basically it. Anyways, anyways, as we approach the final stages of this race, Thomo leads the way by one second. Oh, he loses some time. Absolute low is just flying. He's probably using all his energy trying to get closer to Thomo. Thomo is just swerving the straight. What's going on here? It's just, it's just like, hello, mate. Just uh, the final battle. 
uh, here in the championship. Let's make this interesting because, well, if it finishes like this, we all know what's gonna happen. And Alpe, well, I would say Alpe is doing a fantastic job in P4 at the moment. Callum is very, very good in the championship. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Down the inside goes absolute low, trying to take over the lead. Thomo covers the inside line. Round the outside goes absolute low. And that's a move for P1. He leads away, but... Well, with that... Uh, he closes the gap in the championship standings, but... Uh, it's, it's still not enough. Absolute low covers the inside line again. But now... Well, it's Thomo getting Oh, and he gets a time penalty. Oh, and Thomo! Thomo! Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close, wasn't it? That was close. Thing is, Absolute Low now has a time penalty. Thomo lost the uh, position. He's going wide, he's going deep, but at the moment he's going to win the championship still. Um, I believe, let's just take a look here at one pay. Um, yeah, Absolute Low has a six second time penalty, so that means. That, um, well, if he finishes three seconds ahead of Thomo, he wins the last race of the season, even though uh, that wouldn't mean a championship win. That would mean a lot, I would say. That would mean a that's a very, very impressive performance. Alpin at the moment in P4 ahead of Harry Bargem. Oh, speaking of him, out of the race is Alpin. What happened? Oh, you can see him there. I believe he made a mistake coming out of the Ascari chicane, so that's it. Spring Cup over for him. Uh, he was doing a very, very good job. Uh, Harry Borchum gets promoted to fourth place. Both the Red Bulls P5 and P6 as well. Sexy in P7, level KR54 in eighth. AKM in ninth, and Ricando closes the. Uh, the points positions. Uh, hello, there is not in the race. And well, at the moment, we're just waiting. Just waiting for this guy to be crowned. Good luck to everyone. I got to go by. Unfortunately, I have to work tomorrow again. Well, yeah. See you, Kevin. Thanks for being here. Congratulations on your championship. Uh, that was a very, very good performance by yourself. Um, yeah, bye-bye, mate. And at the moment, absolute low. Just giving his everything. You never know what's going to happen, do you? You really don't know. And the thing is... Well, that's a good kind of ring, isn't it? Uh, of the, the Mercedes driver. Uh, that was so close. Only, well, we still have two laps to go. So, expect the unexpected, right? And he has the fastest lap. Let's just take a look here. Let's just go for... Okay, he has the fastest lap. So, if he wins... Okay, let's say he wins the whole thing. He's gonna, let's just use the calculator here. Uh, if he wins, he's gonna get 20, 26 points, right? 26. Uh, if Thomo finishes in P2 at uh, an, an eight, um, eight point difference, um, that's not enough. That is, it's simply not enough. He needs to finish, okay, 26 minus, Let's say 15. If it finishes P3, it's still not enough. If 26 minus 12, well, Tomo needs to finish P4. To uh, th that's the only way Absolute Law would win the championship. But well, he's done everything he he could, right? He, th that's everything that he could have could have done. Um, the two second time penalty. He's gonna try to. Uh, put on a, a one second gap on the on his championship rival as we approach the the final lap of this Grand Prix which could be the lap that well it probably will be the lap that that we're gonna crown Tomo uh, a championship winner for the sixth time in his career um, yeah very, very impressive performance. Let's just go with absolute low as, as we go for a final lap here in Monza. And, well, as always, you know what we're gonna do at the end of the stream, right? After this is over. We, we, we probably know what's gonna happen. Absolute low, well, what can I say? This guy got taken out. He, he got taken out in a... 
uh, in the USA. I wonder what could have been if if Superman didn't get didn't spin and and collect uh, absolute low. What what would have been? We could we could be seeing a different story here in uh, in Monza. But well, nothing can change the fact that as absolute low approaches the famous parabolica corner this big right hander the last corner of the spring cup 14th edition he will be the one to finish p2 because he will going side by side with his teammates he crosses the line to win the grand prix he wins it absolute low wins the grand prix oh going side by side with them tomo photo finish isn't it but it's tomo who crosses the line to win for the sixth time in his career the Spring Cup. He's a Spring Cup winner. Let's just do what we always do here. Callum finishes third ahead of Harry Bartram, sexy and not better. And ladies and gentlemen, this. Let's just do it again. Let's do it again. Tomo wins the championship. For the sixth time in his career, back to back. We were asking ourselves, can anyone stop this man? And apparently nobody can. Six times, this is like Schumacher. This is like Hamilton type of dominance. Can anybody stop this man? But the question is, not today. As Absolute Low wins the Grand Prix going side by side with his teammate. It's a beautiful Spring Cup. It's an amazing championship. Enjoy them, Thomo. The Spring Cup winner. And now, we're gonna go for the podium interviews. We do have that. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We do have the podium interviews. We will be talking to those drivers, Absolute LOL, Callum, and EQR Tomo. Just a second. Just a second. Um, yeah, I will be inviting those people to a party and we will we'll be interviewing those drivers. Add someone. <gasps> God damn it. Yep. Tomo. Uh, yeah. Let's see if uh, I had someone. Absolute. Lol. And Callum. And Callum as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, can anybody? No, no. Ah, no. oh, damn it. I forgot. I completely forgot. Oh, god damn it. I forgot about the constructor standings. Completely forgot about constru the, the, the constructors. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be taking a look at that after the race. And, well, let's see who's in the party here. Apparently, a couple of those people right here. I cannot hear them. Let me just change the settings here. At the moment, I can't hear them. I'll put the voice headphone. Yeah, I. S For some reason, I cannot hear the people in the party. Oh dear. I cannot hear them. Okay, let me just do this. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now ah. I can hear them. Ah. Oh, okay. oh. Now I can hear those legends. The top three of the 14th edition of the Spring Cup. And, well, should I start off with 
the um, the championship winner um, and Tomo. Uh, well, he's in the party, right? Because I, I can I can't see it. Hello. Yeah, we're all throwing a party. Oh, great, great. Anyways, this question, Jim Thomas. Well, you just won your, I believe it's our sixth championship here in the Spring Cup. We've been asking ourselves, can anybody stop this man for weeks? And apparently, uh, the answer is no. That's yet another championship win for yourself. Just give us a few words on how you feel after this championship win. And, well, what can we expect from Entomo going into the 15th edition of the Spring Cup? It was probably one of the hardest championships, actually. Absolute low, put up a good fight, uh, as the other drivers, but they just got unfortunately taken out in their race or just had a bad race that's the crucial thing with the spring cup you've got to have a good performance every time um which is what me and absolute low did as well uh in terms of next next round 15 let's make it seven championships that's all i can say <laughs> hamilton style no, isn't it? yeah exactly so yeah but yeah it was it was probably the closest one yet so that I can remember so yeah you good well done to everyone so I would say it's one of the closest yeah. ones in the in terms of uh, of the the drivers championship but I got to say in the constructors championship it was it wasn't close at all that that's all I can say <laughs> that's a very very <laughs> dominant performance um how was it? Well, because we couldn't hear it, we couldn't see it. So, was there any team strategies? Was was there any any teamwork during the the Spring Cup? No, to be fair, we went into it saying we'll fight each other if we need to fight each other, and if not, then we don't. Well, there was no team strategy. There was no there was no Bono. There was no James. It was <laughs> just me and Abs racing together. And I think the only time we did it together was, was, was good. the formation at the end of. Uh, after the Italy race, that's the only time I think we did something together, like actual coordinating, because yeah, that wasn't the style as much as he did. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, well, anyways, going. Oh, well, before I go to the second place, congratulations and thumb on your sixth championship win. As we go now to Nico Rosberg, <laughs> we go to absolute Cheers. lol. Or absolute. Cheers. Don't know how you want it to be called, but. Uh, don't mind. Don't uh, mind. Yeah, but um, well, it, it was so close, and the championship. You've you drove, I would say, the perfect championship. I I wouldn't say there was anything that you could have done better. Um, and well, after after this win here in uh in Monza in the last race. You gotta wonder what what would have been if you didn't get taken out in uh, in the United States Grand Prix. How how do you feel? Uh, I think yeah. If, if I wasn't been taken out in the US, I think there would have been a lot more, a lot less. Um, Hamilton in Abu Dhabi 2016 when he held up Rosberg because I literally just tried to push the field as much back so I can gain as much points as Tomo into into Italy because if, if it's 25 feet, he has more time even if he starts with B16. Which, which we both did because we both nailed it. Uh, he has still that got the time to make up the places. In a fast lap, that's more difficult. Um, otherwise, yeah, we just... I, th uh, I think we had the legs. Some I had the legs on me today, most tracks. Uh, that's why he won. Uh, but, uh, yeah, can, kind of just... Oh, well, but next time... Well, I, th I think it is, it is possible to stop him. I know that much. I've been in before, so... Uh, yeah, second and final question, next time in the Spring Cup, uh, are we going to see a different absolute lull? Are we going to see a, a different approach? Uh, are, are we going to try to do something different? That if you, of course, oh, if really? you join the next no. one. It's, 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 it's four points, so it's just down to duck more than anything. I guess a bit more pace would be useful, but uh, I, don't really care. I can't really influence that. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, well, anyways, congratulations on your P2 in the championship. Congratulations to both of you, the Mercedes team, on winning the Constructors' Championship here in the Spring Cup. Uh, we go now to Callum, uh, who finished third in the house. Uh, everyone's in the party, right? So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, mate, you finished you finish P3, and 
it's a very impressive performance because well you are a, a spring cup champion you, you you have the experience and well as we could see uh you were consistently up there i would say you were winning every single race but uh i would say consistent podiums and results uh brought you this um this result in the championship do you feel like you've done anything wrong do you feel like you could have done anything better uh what's your view on the spring cup I did well. I, I shit house my way there, to be honest. I shouldn't have been there. I was there. Nothing else. Nothing else, really. I was. I, I just. <laughs> I don't know, you know, to be honest, I was. I just. What a speech, Lucian. You know. <laughs> what a speech. Thank you for attending your TED talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I was just there. I wasn't there, there, but I was there. I, I like the enthusiasm. Uh, anyways, um, the the constructors for Haas, um, it, it looked like you were you were battling the constructors with, with one hand tied behind your back because it yeah, was, was on. Yeah, you you were by yourself. Usually, it's not the case. Usually, we have a a, a legend uh, named Icy to help you there. Do you feel like if if you had a, a good teammate, uh, you could possibly challenge for for titles uh, in future spring cups? Probably. I mean, the last time we were close, but we didn't get there. But we've won it before, just us two. So you never know. Probably, but probably not. Uh, Your speeches are actually inspirational. You should generally go into inspirational writing. <laughs> Indeed. Like someone might need some for his college, doesn't, doesn't he? Think I just stand in the middle of Wembley and just start giving speeches. Uh, well, uh, I I guess that's it for the Spring Cup, for the 14th edition. I gotta say, this is a, a, a very remarkable Spring Cup. Very, very very interesting and it, it was a thoroughly enjoyable season uh well thanks everyone for tuning in uh we'll be la back live i do believe well only god knows when the next spring cup will be but rumors just rumors that we're gonna see a back-to-back -back spring cup and the 15th nice. edition last week just rumors you never know, you never know. love yeah. these rumors yeah yeah i think it's um uh... Anyways, let's just finish this off with uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys I'm next Latvian. week. What? Oh yeah, that's it. No, I'm not Austrian, I'm a Latvian, mate. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, you can. I'm very annoyed with that. Always, you... always, like, very sorry, but yeah. Oh, I mean, you. <laughs> I, 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 I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't like criticism, so you're permanently banned from the Spring Cup. Uh, anyways, oh, yes. <laughs> we have to find me some new competition then. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> I, I might as well join it and, and win it by myself. Oh, I'll the lobby, Ooh, do it. If I'm not part of the championship, I'll just take you out. For me, just for me. Yeah, exactly. Just join the final race. So I, can't yeah, I, think I mean, you're really beyond tier two, so. Yeah, anyways, guys, let me just finish this. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys, well, probably next week. Bye-bye!